okay um, so this demo shows how to use FTP uh, activities basically in UI path then uh, let's go with the process how what I have created okay we need to first open an FTP session then get all the files using file enumerator of a particular folder then download each file to local after downloading each file to local open that file and write the file name directly into the file and save it and close it later on upload the same file to FTP so that is the flow that is the complete flow so I'm taking two files I have created a local FTP server uh, where I'm using it so this is my local FTP server so here is the connection that started and we have only one file so it's a local FTP server so if I open so this is the FTP server and we have a local working folder called local so this is a index file okay here you see there is nothing so I'll create around 10 files and, uh, so these are the files that are, I am going to use so what the flow should do it should copy the index to local open that with notepad and send it so uh, while coming to the flow let's see what I have done I have opened the session using uh, using the configurations that are there for FTP and if the directory exists so we can keep any directory it will get all the files so the files which we get is in the form of data table so the path is exactly a data table for each and every file so for each and every row in the file i am going to get the row item so while getting the row item there should be a column index since we will be having only first column or column zero so we'll get all the file names from that column so we will download them to our local folder then we are getting the file name exactly using string manipulation techniques and later on we will be opening a notepad so while opening a notepad if we send a parameter as a file path then the notepad will be opened with a particular file and i'm writing the file name directly into the notepad using type into and sending a hotkey to save it and close the application finally i'm going to upload it back and the last step is to disconnect the ftp so let's run the application and let's see there is nothing in our local fine so let's run it okay it should get the files fine the first file is retrieved second file third file what done so it will take a small time to complete all the steps and to upload it back okay so as you seeing here it's done the flow is done if we go and check with the FTP so we have all the files and the file size is also increased if you see the FTP path so this is our local which where we should download all the files so if i open the folder so we have all the files downloaded in our local and in the ftp server so this is our ftp server so if i open the ftp server or if i open the files okay so all the files got its own text so this is very useful while working with automation or if you want to send files to through ftp 
need not open or need not use FTP server or uh, use the activities or record some activities we can directly have we directly have FTP activities that are predefined in UI path itself so this is of very good use fine bye bye and forgot to mention I am looking for new opportunities in UI path uh, if you have or if you know any new opportunities in UI path kindly contact me with Gmail ID that's going to be placed in my in the description of this video